Welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen, and I'm here with day three of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. And today's sketch is this cool sketch with lots and lots of layers, and this is by Sandra Lee. And like I said, it is day three of our 31 days of exclusive sketches, and I am going to kind of turn this. I don't end up turning the whole thing, just the pictures. So I have this picture of my daughter after she's gotten her permit and really there was no reason for me to cover the permit because A, we don't live in the house anymore and B, it's so blurry because it's so small that you can't really see it but it's fine. Better safe than sorry. I'm going to use this Bull Bella Boulevard Make Your Mark collection that I have. I got it at Tuesday morning. I love it. Um, all I have left are these three papers on the top that are full papers and two um, kind of partials and then a bunch of scraps. And then because I got it at Tuesday morning, I also got another set of stickers prior to the collection of this um, sticker sheet. So I have three of them. One pretty much has alphas left and the others are... I'm running low on some things, but I have a lot of icons on one of those sheets. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use, but I got my paper. I've got my embellishments. I've got these two pictures and this awesome sketch by Sandra. So let's see how this goes. So first things first, I've decided I wanted to mat mine. And you can't really tell in the sketch whether that was the inclination or the suggestion, but I wanted to do that. Um, I love matting my layouts. I don't do it all the time, but I certainly do love it. And yes, there's a big hole in the middle from where I'd cut a cut a part out of the back of that on another layout. But look at there, now you can't see it. And yes, I know the branding strips on there. I'm just going to cover that up. It's just helping me cover that space. So this is where I'm debating what I'm going to do. Because my plan was to turn this entire layout on its side and put my pictures, you know, the way they, because they're both horizontal. Well, one's horizontal, one's vertical, but the way I cut it down, it's, it was okay to be either way. So I'm trying to debate what I want to do, and that's why I kept turning that back and forth. But I've decided to keep the layout the way it is and just turn the pictures. And I feel like that's going to have a better flow and that's going to work better for me. So I do stick pretty close to this sketch. Um, my papers up at the top are a little bit smaller. And then, of course, I move that... Um, the pictures and I don't have like a florally die cut bit. I'm just going to use a bunch of embellishments and make some um, Just add some little pops of things in different places because I don't use anything but this collection And that's kind of my goal for this month except for like on Tuesdays during stash dive Tuesday Of course, I need to use multiple things. So um, I've matted my pictures on some scraps of that same paper from the background and I did intentionally mat one with the, the stripes going vertical and one with the stripes going horizontal. That was on purpose. It was not an accident. Um, I just thought it would give a little bit more, um, just some texture, not, te I keep saying texture, um, a little bit more personality to the layout because that pink paper is going one way, the blue paper in the background is going one way, and then the little, um, humpy bits are going a different way. So I just kind of wanted to intentionally make those lines go right into left as well as up to and down. So now I'm looking through my scraps. I want to find the three pieces that I want to use for that top part where the, it looks like there's like three tags tucked in or three um, pattern papers. So I'm going to use this one and I matted it on this really bright, um, almost like a, a painting swipe. Um, and so I put that down because that white was going to disappear. So I put that down on top of that um, little pink paint stripes. And now I start to put this yellow one down and decide I'm going to mat it on that same. See, looks like somebody, someone has taken a paintbrush and tested out some um, paint samples. 
and I love that. I think it's cool, and it's a lot. It's very bright, so that's why I went ahead and matted just the part that's going to be coming out over that paper, and moved it over a little bit. Now hers is covering from one side to the other. Mine is not, but that's okay. And then she has a uh, title at the bottom, and I decided I want to use this cut apart, but since it was going to cover up the word phrase on this um, border strip, I just cut the bottom part that says Reach for the Stars because I felt like that was appropriate for her getting her permit. And it had been a long, hard road. She had been um, wanting to go get it. It just had not worked out for us. Things had been a little crazy. So finally that summer I took her to get her permit. And so now I have some post-it notes on there so you can't um, have supervision and see. <laughs> I mean, after I like kind of panicked and put my thumb over the picture of her ID, I thought you can't, you, I can't read that up close and in person. <laughs> but whatever, like I said, better safe than sorry. So I'm using this little fold over tag and it actually tore when I was putting it on there. I normally cut these in half um, and use both of them. But this one, I decided I wanted to have that little pull where it's actually coming off the page. And then I just tucked this little explore speech bubble right above my daughter. Not that she can go very far to explore since she's got to have a driver with her. Um, I thought I'd put these little arrows on here to kind of point um, towards her permit or her, either one. Um, and then um, I'm just kind of adding... Anything from the sticker sheets that I feel like will work, I pretty much just take it off and add it. And that blue little humper uh, thing right there, those scallops, is, um, can you tell I've been watching State Goddess? She calls them humper something or others. Um, the little scallop is a piece of a border that I didn't use. And so I put that black and gold bit there just to give it an ending. And then I tucked that little today tag underneath it so I'm just looking on here um and there's only like two stickers left on this sheet other than the alphas one says experimenting um no I'm not putting that word on here she should not be experimenting while she's driving and I think one says break the rules and I'm like mm, no no so, but I think in the end, the only thing left on this top sheet is the one that says experiment. And there may be one other one I can't see over there on the right side. I did put my girl on here, but I did decide to title it um, Reach for the Stars. And then I put 18 in that gold alpha as or numbers as well, because this is 2018 and that is what book this is going to go in. And I do write the date on there. I don't know if I did that on camera or not, but I took a, um, a pin, I believe in black and wrote right above where that says laugh and put the date there. So I love the way this turned out. I had a lot of fun. These colors on this collection are so bright and cheerful. I still have three full sheets of paper because I didn't use any full sheets of paper. I used only scraps. Now how awesome is that, you all? So right there where it says laugh, that's where I'll end up writing the date after I get off camera. I hope you go below to the hashtag and the playlist and watch all of the awesome videos that are being posted. I also hope you'll come back and see me again tomorrow for day four. Have a great day and happy scrapping.